Hi everybody, I'm Danny Dancer. I'm the Social Studies Educator here at Children's Museum Houston, and today's Educator Moment is part of our Boot Up Wonder Week, which is sponsored by Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. So what I want to show you today is actually how you can create a rodeo-themed art activity. It's actually really cool looking and pretty simple to make at home. But before we get to that activity, I want to take a moment to thank our friends at Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo and give you a little bit of history about this organization that's been around since 1932. So a really long time. And it is actually the biggest livestock show and rodeo that happens in the world like the entire world. And it's right here in Houston. It's actually held at NRG Stadium. Formerly, it was held at the Astrodome. So actually, I wanna take a quick moment to read to you the uh, mission statement, which is sort of the purpose um, for Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, because there's something I kinda wanna draw everybody's attention to, which is that they promote agriculture by hosting an annual family-friendly experience that educates and entertains the public, supports Texas youth, showcases Western heritage, Heritage and provides year-round educational support for the community. And I think that's really important and really amazing and something that not everybody knows about this organization. They've actually given $500 million to Texas youth and education since they first started back in 1932. It's amazing. And we are one of those organizations that benefits from their support. So we thank uh, Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. And what I want to do to help celebrate is one of the things that they have for that organization every year is they have an art contest. Now the art contest has already happened. You can visit their website to check out all of the amazing winners and um, different uh, art that was submitted by students all across the state, but I'm going to show you our own unique work of Texas art with this next activity. For this activity, you'll need a coffee filter and some washable markers. We're actually going to be making a sunset, so I'm using red, pink, orange, and yellow. You'll also need a piece of black construction paper, some scissors and glue, and then you'll need a spray bottle of water. To start off with, we're gonna color our coffee filter. Now I'm actually gonna do this using red at the bottom and I'm just gonna color all the way across. And then I'm just sort of scribbling in. It's a good idea to go all the way to the edges, so make sure you're working on a surface that you can clean or put down some newspaper or something like that so that you don't stain anything. Next, I'm gonna go pink. And you can overlap your colors a little bit if you'd like. Then I'm gonna follow that up with orange and then yellow. If you wanna put a little purple in here or maybe some blue up towards the top, that's totally up to you. Next, using your spray bottle, spray the surface of your coffee filter until the whole thing is wet. Carefully lift it up and place it on a paper towel and leave it in place until it's completely dry. Make sure you lay it nice and flat. After about 30 minutes or so, when your coffee filter is dry, take your black construction paper and use it to cut out a scene. We're trying to make a silhouette here and we wanna make it Texas themed, which means you might do something like cactus if you wanna keep it simple, or you could get into different livestock animals if you want to make it a little fancier. Here are a couple of examples that I made. This one I made using scissors, and this shows a prickly pear cactus and some prairie grass. This one got a little bit fancier, and I used a machine to cut this out called a Cricut cutter. Take your silhouette and place it towards the bottom of your filter. You'll have a little bit of that filter paper showing, and you should also have a little construction paper hanging over the edges, and glue it in place. Flip it over and cut off the extra construction paper that's hanging over the edges. Then flip it back and cut off the extra bit of filter at the bottom. 
Now, if you happen to have access to something like a Cricut cutter, or if you just don't mind taking a really long time cutting out some detail, you can make a really, really fancy version like this one using images that you find on the internet. But in the meantime, you're welcome to use your construction paper and your scissors to make any Texas themed sunset silhouette that you like. Meanwhile, thank you very much everybody for joining me today for our educator moment sponsored by Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. We'll see you all again soon. Bye.